Oh hey, there you guys are. In today's video, I'm taking you guys along as I check out a Vietnamese bakery. Hope you're ready, it's time to get food. So we've had some pretty crazy snowfall here the last couple of days in Toronto, but you know that's not gonna stop me when there's some awesome food that I wanna show you guys. Let me introduce you to La La Bake Shop. why I wanted to swing in today was Lala Bake Shop was recently in the news as part of the very Asian movement. The owner who opened the shop wanted to showcase a lot of the flavors he was familiar with and grew up with. I can't wait to show you guys all the different varieties that they have here. It's absolutely amazing. So after shoveling all that snow and battling the elements to get my car down here to Toronto to check out La La Bake Shop, I built up a bit of an appetite. So right now, I can't wait and I'm going to get into this banh mi croissant. So if you're familiar with banh mi, then you know about these classic ingredients. So you've got the Vietnamese deli sausage there, nice and sliced up. You've got your carrots as well as some cucumber in there but what makes this particularly unique is how they use this nice crispy croissant as the vehicle for the banh mi mm. taste wise i'm getting that nice perky brightness from those pickled veggies but I didn't quite take a big enough bite to get some of that sausage. So let's go in for a second bite. Another element that just makes this so reminiscent of a true banh mi is that pate that they have down there. It's that fusion of those French and Vietnamese cuisine traditions that makes banh mi so special. And La La Bake Shop just takes it to that next level with this croissant. All right, that was absolutely fantastic, but we're just getting started. I got lots more to show you guys. So I'm gonna head off and get these treats home. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, and thanks to the magic of film editing, we're back and that didn't take long at all. Check out these amazing treats that I got here. The treats you see here take their inspiration from Vietnamese as well as other Asian flavors. And the great thing about it is we have a little bit of everything here. We have some sweet, we have some savory, and some items that even have a little bit of both. So if you're about that fusion tip, this place is popping. So I'm going to kick things off here with our garlic cream cheese bun. Check out all that luscious cream cheese in there. Oh. That silky, light as air cream cheese. Mm. That one was really good, but people are gonna want me to share. So we'll set that one aside and let's see what we got next. This next one here has got me really intrigued. It looks like your traditional roll cake, but on top, it's got some interesting flavors. It's roasted seaweed and pork floss. So you've got your classic fluffy chiffon cake and that wonderful custard in the middle. Now this custard has a bit of salty and a bit of sweet flavor in it. And on top, there's that pork floss and that roasted seaweed that adds more savoriness to the mix. So that chiffon sponge is light as a cloud, 
But in contrast to that, the flavors of the pork floss, the seaweed, the custard, they're so pronounced and well-balanced. This is an absolute delight. Oh, I wanna get a little bit more of that pork floss on there in this bite. So here I have another croissant and another bun, but these two feature a flavor that you'll find in many Asian foods, salted egg. So you can see that there's a bit of that salted egg crumbled on the top and inside this croissant, oh, all oh, that salted egg custard. <laughs> That's the ticket. Again, rich and buttery croissant, salty umami from that salted egg custard. Mm. And of course, not to be outdone, is their lava salted egg custard bun. You can see it's just overflowing with that salted egg custard. And the pork floss on top adds a little more texture to the soft milky bun. Oh man. So Lala Bake Shop opened in the fall of 2021 and it drew fans of Asian flavors as well as the curious alike to check out how they were gonna fuse these different cuisine traditions together. And they recently made some additional news as being part of the very Asian movement. I grew up sometimes not always that excited about my Asian background. Maybe people would find it weird and my fear was that I wouldn't fit in. So a lot of times I would just downplay what it meant to be uniquely Asian. But with the changing of the times and places like La La Bake Shop, who are loud and proud of their Asian heritage, just gives me so much joy. Yes, these flavors are amazing, but there is so much more culture that we can share. And a lot of times I think food is a great gateway to being able to bridge some of those gaps and to be able to share our uniqueness and all the positive things that come with that. All right, let's keep this ride going on our way to Flavortown with their scallion and cured sausage bun. Mmm. So as you can see, the pork floss is again featured prominently on this bun. But here we also have that, those bits of the cured sausage and the scallion, and that just gives it more layers and more depth of flavor. So now we made it to the sweet portion. Check out their matcha pandan mini cake. That green color on the top with the matcha powder, it just looks so vibrant and bright. And you can see like the layers of the cream. You can see that pandan sponge right there at the bottom. That is silky smooth and so luscious. Mm. So there you have a sweet and savory experience when you combine Asian flavors and baked culinary traditions together. Want to say a huge thanks to Lala Bake Shop for sharing their passion with us and big thanks to you guys as well for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, as always, please give it the thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you're looking for more content like this, where we feature amazing food spots in and around Markham, Toronto, and the surrounding area, then make sure you're subscribed and you've got that bell notification. I'm so excited because there's still lots of great places that I wanna go and try and share with all of you guys. So you stay safe and happy, and I'll catch you in the next video when I get food.